Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to the video. Um, in this one, I'm going to be showcasing a secret I believe much now. I already can see people being annoyed that it is foolish. I actually didn't know about Harmonized Dust Kits until a little while back. Um, but yeah, we're going to be using it today. Um, this was so then you could get like the one TP over this and programs get ranged or melee. But then Jamie Jamie decided to buff Metronet. And that happened and I haven't gotten around to fixing it because I haven't been using it but yeah if it wasn't foolish I wouldn't put no I would put no range of defense into it but yeah let's get into a battle you look really fun do you what is much that's running style wait what is that that looks so weird from right here that looks weird uh anyway we'll pause till we're in the video till we're in a battle all right we are getting in to the first battle. This one actually took a little bit to go get. Hmm. Well, I'm seeing how much Odasha is going to want to swap in on Metro. Hmm. I'm actually going to lead with Muda. And then. Telekinetic Sweep is so brutal to his entire team. Like, if his Revenine dies, he's got nothing on Muda gone. So that's, uh. Ugh. That's good. I think. I think you're actually pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna bring you. Of course. Um, you can be an anti-Mutagon. And I can bring Protagon, as it can kill, like, pretty much his entire team if Odasho dies. Bring the Festifer for the Odasho. Um, and Vesp, because you really don't have anything on Slapdown. Now that I'm looking at it. So we gotta get Vesp in safely. Luxor. Oh, to predict a Vesp, right? Yes, 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 yes. I had Telekinetic Sweep. Gonna Raging Howl. It's not gonna be very effective. Sorry, man. What's gonna take it out? There goes Luxor turned one, so there goes Vesp's threat. So we're already in our ex obscenely good position to win the game. Gonna send in his Revenine. That's gonna suck, because you're just gonna click, like, Fire Breath or whatever. So, yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna have to, like, I think Moodgon has to die. I can't do very much. Gonna go see Howl. I mean, I could have gone into Protagon, but that's a little damage I didn't really want to take. There goes Moodgon, but we'll be fine, because I don't think that actually KOs. Your Fire Breath definitely KOs. Yeah, it KOs in that range. So, I think I can Deja Vu, Ghostly Howl, and then Metal Blast. I'm gonna Energy Surge. <laughs> energy Surge. If he goes into Adasho, I get to go into Festiver, then I get to click Earthquake. Oh, he's gonna stay in. Oh, he's gonna kill Revenine. That's amazing. All right, then. This is going pretty well so far, I'd say. Um, I lost one. He lost one. In comes the scary hunter. Uh, yeah, we don't like to see that. We really don't. Yeah, we really we hate that, actually. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice Protagon here, but I, if he goes for Blaze, maybe I live it. Thunder, I don't live it, but Blaze, I do live. I'm gonna go for Thunder. So yeah, I'm definitely dead here. Yeah, I'm dead after that. Now, if I get flinched here, I lose the game. So we're gonna hope I don't get flinched. If he goes into a Dasho, that's actually amazing. Oh, he does. I don't get why people use Odasha to swap into Slapdown, so that you really shouldn't. You have to be careful whenever that happens. If you see a Vesp, you gotta be- you have to predict them switching into it. And switch is something that can kill it, so that's the clever kind. Alright, we're gonna go into Festifer. Hopefully he goes for, like, Sap Plant. I'm gonna go for his Pestilence.
That's fine. Ice Hammer definitely will... I think it would kill Hunter in that range. Alright, we're gonna Ice Hammer. And I, I do have speed it, because it is... Right, it's gonna die next turn. Actually, it's gonna die this turn. Or Talent Trade? What? Thank you? I'm kind of confused. Now, actually... Oh, I would love to Icicle Trap here, but I can't. I'm gonna Earthquake. I'm gonna Talent Trade again. Hmm. Interesting. I would have loved to click Icicle Traps, but I didn't really expect the double Talent Trade. Maybe if he did do that, I definitely would have gone for Icicle Traps if I knew he was gonna do that. I did not expect that, to be completely honest. Go into Hunter. Go into Mutagon and reveal that you have- Oh, he's gonna go into his Hunter. Okay, yeah. So yeah, the Hunter is really the only thing that's scaring me. Because it can very easily kill me. So we're just gonna die here or dodge it because we're skillful. Dang it. Alright. Let's go into Metro. And then Dark Surge. Alright, here we go, Metro. This is your time to shine. Blaze Chomp doesn't KO you. Don't get flinched. Don't get flinched. Don't get flinched. It doesn't KO. Don't get flinched. If I get burn flinched. Okay, good. I'm glad I decided to burn and not flinch. That would have sucked if it burned me. Or flinched me. Arapaigo. Okay. Now, is it smart, nimble? Do we speed tie? Is it very nimble? Here comes Mode of Truth. There's a slap down, then Shadow Sprint kill. We might actually only take half because we're clever. We're going to find out. I'm going to go Tsunami. Do we take half because we're clever? Yeah, we won the game. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that's the very nimble. That's the very nimble. All right, Shadow Sprint. You can tell it did a lot of damage. That's a very nimble Tender Frail. You can tell by the damage that it did that, that I literally almost oko it. GG. That was a very good battle. Bye. Bye. Okay, um, who is next? Sacred Giratina. Are you a tryhard? Alright, I'll bow to you. You're level 50. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna have fun. Um, why did I accept this battle request? <laughs> oh no. Although, you are extremely good here. Dorogo is actually really, really good here. Actually, we're completely fine. Oh, Vesp destroys him. His only counter to Vesp would be his Blow Tox, and even then, it's not a very good counter. Her lead Fest for Hope he leads his Blow Tox to get his Icicle Traps up. Blow Tox is usually a lead, and it, and we can also counter El Iguana, so basically we win with Vesp and Fest for we just get to play them right. Mm. I can bring you for, like, luring out the El Iguana, and then I can bring you. Actually, do I want to bring Protagon? Mm, it looks good here. I, th I do want to bring it. I, th I think Moodagon's actually a way better choice, because then I can just predict Telekinetic Sweep. He's going to go and do his Blow Tox. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm just going to Earthquake off the bat, because if he goes for his Traps or Poison, whatever he does, it's completely fine with me. Because he doesn't actually have very much on... Actually, he's extremely weak to Earth now that I look at it. Only thing that can actually, like, res like not resist it, but, like... Oh, I go for... A Thanks for my Icicle Traps, buddy. Gonna get my damage. It always 2 it KOs. It always 2 it KOs. I think even with the Brawny Robust... Or Brawny Nimble one. No, Robust Nimble, sorry. I'm kind of tired. It's not even late. I'm just I'm kind of tired, because, like... I said I was gonna fix my sleeping schedule, so... So, yeah. See, I love this thing, because, like... It stopped... Look at that. It stopped him from setups. It stopped him from setting up. Or not setting up. Or setting up his traps, for example. That's why I love using an SA Festifer. If this was chill, I wouldn't be able to do anything. 
I'm gonna go into Hunter. Which sucks. Because now he's just gonna blaze. Yeah. Base I would love I love I want to keep Festor alive. So I'm gonna have to go to Mutagon and then like quick punch. I don't have a lot of options. I really don't. I don't think Mega Chomp KOs in that range actually. So I'll Do I telekinetic? Actually, I'm gonna telekinetic, predicting like him switching out. Yeah, he's gonna go into your soul maybe. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that was that was good. That was good. Hopefully it actually hits. Love it if it did. There we go. Your soul's dead. Because right there, it was tempting to click Mega Punch, but like I knew that it doesn't KO. Mega, Mega Trump doesn't KO in that range. Is he going to tase me? Is that his play? Is that his play is to tase or magnify? I, if he tases, I'm okay with it? In quotations? I'll get my Braum boost up, because I don't know how to speed anything on your team. I don't. I don't. Well, we got off our Braum boost, which is pretty sick. So now we're going to be able to nuke things, depending if he sends in his, like, Revenine. Oh, he does Did he have a Revenine? I'm pretty sure he had a Revenine. Eliguana goes down. Now, I think we're just going to Quick Punch whatever he sends in now. As Yursul is kind of his only definitive check to Mutagon. Even then, uh... He's going to go into Hunter. Is he going to bait out a Quick Punch? Because I'll just click Quick Punch. I really don't care. I'm just going to click it. He's going to stay in. Huh. You know, I thought I was going to be showcasing Metronet, but I guess Mutagon works too. <laughs> Mutagon, I mean, Metronet's going to be situational. Um, right. Um, okay, because Metronet's going to be really situational because it's a secret ability one, and if I can swap in on something with terrifying, like a Yursoul, a Tyrex, kind of whatever. In comes to Glide. Now I Ice Hammer. You are negative priority. Thank you, Jamie. Thunder Blade again. Du, du, du. See, predict predictions can win you the game if you play them right. Ooh. GG. Well played. That was a good game. Uh, battle, 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 battle. Um, okay. How about you? All right, D. Now. Ooh. Kind of a defensive team, it looks like. So, what I'm going to do here is lead Festifer. And then I'm actually going to try a tactic. Why are we seeing so many hunters today? Like, what is up with that? little much little much under there's a lot of you here and I don't like it all right well I don't like the Ikazunes on the field I really don't protagon puts in so much work is this a bane of haste slug is this a bane of haste zero up is it those two look like they could have a synergy your baffle support do I want slap down Slapdown looks really good but I have Dark Surge, and you can bait out that and bring out Dash over. Uh, I think Protagon's going to be a key definition to this battle. So we're going to hope that he leads his... He's going to lead Odasha. So that's actually perfect for me. Now I can get out my traps. That could actually be his Barb Setter. It could be. You never know. You never know if that could be his Barb Setter. So I'm going to go Icicle Trap. Hopefully he, it is actually his Barb Setter. gonna swap out maybe predicting the protagon lead ikazune ikazune is gonna come in or whatever it's called ikazune all right so i'm gonna predict he's gonna magnify because there's no way he thinks i'm gonna switch, stay in so i'm gonna earthquake he might just magnify he's gonna fire okay yeah he's gonna fire rest 
which kind of sucks. Alright, um... Odasho is the, is the clear play, but I could go Mutagon and put up def offensive pressure. And I'm just gonna go Mega Punch. Now I just click Mega Punch. Maybe had I clicked Earthquake, I would be in a better position. He's gonna magnify. That's what I wanted you to do last round, buddy. Did you do the things in the reverse order? Because that's gonna kill you. I'm guaranteeing the kill on this. Like, no, because he's very threatening to this. Bye bye. Now we're a full health Muda. We're a full health Muda. Versus whatever he sends in. He doesn't have a lot of options. He's gonna go. Gar Gar Garbantis. <laughs> you gonna poison? Yeah. He's <laughs> gonna cripple me. Now, Arc's calculated. A non brawn boost does like up to here with quick punch with trash armor. So I think a quick punch in this range should kill it. I'm plus two brawler since SA. Definitely gonna kill. Yep. Dang, Moodle's put in work. Apologies for the people that would win. I really feel like I should explain like how you should use a Metronet. Because I know how, how you're supposed to use it. It's kind of used to, like, negate damage over... T what is going on? <laughs> What's going on versus these switches? What is this? What is this? I'm just going to punch you in the face. You think Odasho can live anything just because it has defensive priority and drop of youth and very robust or very clever? It's going to kill you. I'm sorry, but it's going to. Dorago comes in last. Or not last. I'm gonna mega punch. Maybe Barbs. Let me go for a slap down. So I, I'm gonna live that by a little bit. I think I died of poison damage. Pretty sure I died of poison damage. I'm gonna live at 2 HP, so I can go for a quick punch. So that's nice. Maybe it's the Hunter? It's a Joltooth, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna quick punch here, then we'll finish off with Metronet. Actually, I outspeed it. <laughs> Never mind then. That's gonna be a good fight. Fairly, fairly interesting battle. I'm not seeing Tyrexes, because, like, the entire point of this is to, like, lure out Tyrexes, and then I get my reverse sweep. Because, like, it's. I really love Applied Frustration. It's a really, really cool ability. Um. Alright, let's see. Do you have a Tyrex? Dang it. Alright, you have a little bit of a... That's actually a very scary team. I'm loving the Renault Eclipses in the game. Um, let's lead off with Festifer. Hope he leads off with Dorago. Um, lot of Hunters today. What is that? Mega Punch is obscenely useful here. You're really, really good here. Like These are like your checks to these two, which are not very good checks, may I add. Because I can just Brawn Boost in Obsy's Ob face and click Mega Punch. Um, and you can go in on the on the that and I can do this so like the same general team as last time uh yeah I'm not gonna bring my slap downers because that's like too scary I have a hard hitting slap down then I have a faster slap down so don't get mad at me try hards if I'm not using like the right one people people get mad at me for that stuff it's funny Alright, let's see. Infernus comes out first predicting this swap. Now, I'm gonna predict that he's not gonna- he's gonna think I'm gonna swap out him Earthquake immediately. See if he peace of minds. Because if he does, that'll be really funny. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes this game is just too predictable.
This game is too predictable sometimes. Uh. No one expects that. No one, no one expects it. Uh. It's great. I'm just gonna kill Festifer. Uh, that made me happy. After that, that made me happy. Watch me live, because I'm tanky. Watch me look, because I'm tanky. Because I'm tanky. He's not killing it because of trash armor. But still. Okay, why am I showcasing every other Lumion besides Metronet? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you gonna go for your Airblade? <laughs> Watch it not kill me. <laughs> no! I was really hoping that would not kill me. I was really, really hoping that wouldn't kill me. I was really hoping that wouldn't kill me. Hopefully he stays in, because then I can get my deja vu off. He's in a life drain. I'm gonna go for damage. It's a very powerful Whipple Drift. Now I get to go into... Oh, is that a good idea? Because I'm scared that it would... Yeah, it's not a good idea, actually. I'm just gonna Metal Blast. Because he's just gonna Life Drain. Actually, this is, this is actually a little bit of a scary situation. Because now Whipple... Yeah, now Whipple Drift is actually really scary. I'm gonna do this. I, I would. I would. Now I miss provoke. I'm gonna get provoke back after this. Actually, I don't think he has enough energy to use it. He doesn't have enough energy to use bequeath. He doesn't. So I'm just gonna pestilence. Guard down to rest. Oh god. This isn't good. Crit it. Dang it. Alright, well, this is really, really bad. Because now he's just gonna get his, uh... Plus one speed buff. To whatever the heck he wants to give it to. So, I'm gonna... <laughs> this is actually very scary. Uh... I'm gonna have to hope he brings in like a hunter. I didn't expect that. You get an airblade? Oh, it's the sweeping set. Buddy, I'll keep clicking return to sender. This is actually extremely scary now. Oh, he's it's dead. Okay, it's dead. Okay, good. It's dead. It's dead. Whew! That very much scared me. To clips. Now I miss Festifer. <laughs> well, I can just go to Alvin, actually. So, we're just gonna... Pestilence. We might actually, we might actually live the Gluminous Roar. <laughs> Too scary, man. Okay. Now we're just gonna sap plant. <laughs> Gluminous roar. Yeah, he just wanted that thing dead. He wanted it dead. Alright. We're gonna try to get uh, Metronet in the next round. We're gonna go Alvin. And we're going to see. Because, okay, I, I wanted to see if I'd see a lot of Tyrexes here. That's what I, why I brought it. I wanted to see if... Cyrex would show up. Now I'm just gonna battle blast. 
Can I spell? Can I spell? Oh, it's Obsy. Um. Oh, I've been, here, been there since 400. So oh, wait, we could get the use out of it. We could get the use out of it. Oh, you team. All right, does Metronet, Metronet has to kill here. Metronet coming in for the revenge kills twice in a row. Came in with a new Mutagon counter. And what is that counter? Just provoke and garb. I mean, I guess. Skill. <laughs> Actually, I think Flabbergast would have been the better choice because I have Mind Essence. <sighs> Pure Robust is faster than Pure Brawny. Mm hmm. GG. That was a good. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Well, I attempted to show off Metronet. I think I did a, a decent showing of it. I did like four battles. I think that's a decent showing of it. Well, if you guys did enjoy and would like to see more content, you can like and subscribe. It is helpful um and yeah if now i think i'll do something at the, la the last little bit is where i kind of explain how the looming works um if you're going to use the secret ability i would suggest going pure nimble and i think the secret really is more about predictions because if you can predict on a tyrex that switches in and you're running pyrokinesis i'm not running pyrokinesis because i don't really want to because i i like the coverage on your soul better because then i could oko it back I could, I can also Oko, uh, Garbantis, or, not Garbantis, you can Oko, uh, Gobademix with it, you can even, you can even do, like, f half health to Garbantis if you're unboosted, but if you're boosted, you'll Oko Garbantis. I'm using Hypnotize because, Hypnotize and Peace of Mind is a powerful setup. Using Dark Surge, because it's a very powerful stab move. And, the TPs are here, these, these are basic, this is just for max speed, this is for max attack. This is just because I had a foolish one. And I had to make its range defense higher than its melee melee defense, but now it's equal, so I'm going to fix that later. Um, and the energy I wanted to get to 150, but I I think I did. It's actually at 160 at level 50. I think one more thing and it'll be up a little higher, but but yeah, that's kind of the basis of it. And what's what this one is meant to do is that they like when Tyrex first came out and like when Metronet came out, I really struggled with it. So then I used this and swapped it in every time a Tyrex would come in. When I would get the reverse sweep, it was really, really fun. Um, but yeah, I, if you want to use Mysterious Cloak, you can. It can. It's. I think Mysterious Cloak is actually pretty good for countering, not countering, but stopping Pestilence. Even though you're quad weak to it, you it can stop Pestilence. But yeah, and over overtime damage like Poison and Paint. It's a, it's a status swapping basically. If you got, if you're using Mysterious Cloak. But yeah, anyway, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe, and comment down below what is the next um, Lumion I should showcase. And yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.